guys, I'm Silver and welcome to The Stanley Parable. So, I asked you guys if you would maybe want to see some non-horror games, and uh, you said yeah. And I'm really wanting to branch out and add some variety. So, um, I chose this because I never got to play it myself, and um, I it looks so good. It looks... Anyway, I'm excited. I'm sure you guys have seen probably other YouTubers play it. I, uh, I hadn't, I didn't have my channel when it was popular, but, um, I love games that involve choice, and this one is really unique. Uh, the end is never the end, the end is never the end, okay, yeah, so it goes on and on, that's awesome. And, uh, it's gonna take forever to load, so, load. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul winning, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour, when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Whoa. <laughs> I'm like super fast. Wasn't All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Alright, so um, the whole point of this game is, uh, if you don't know, you either choose to follow the narrator or you don't. No matter and, uh, how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Alright, I'm trying to explain something. Can you just not interrupt me? Thank you. And, uh, there's a bunch of different endings, and so I'm excited- can- Alright. This, uh, this walk is kind of hard to get used to. My keyboard is messing up. Don't mess up. There we go. Okay. Um, so, I think there was an older version of this. And I watched somebody play it. It was so long ago, I don't even remember who. And, um... I have no... Like, I don't remember what happened at all. I just remember being in awe of, uh... When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Oh, jeez. Alright. Time to make a decision. Um... I'm gonna defy him. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Yeah, let's admire some ah, lounge. Yes, oh, truly a room worth admiring. <laughs> it had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. <laughs> it's so... Oh, it's gorgeous. Look at the... Oh, the vending machine. You guys, it's like a work yes, of art. Yes, the... really, really worth it being here in the room. <laughs> a room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. It is, dude. Look at the... Oh, my God. Oh, it's the ocean, and it's a leaf... Dude. At this point, Stanley's obsession with this room bordered on <laughs> creepy and reflected poorly on his overall personality. It's possible You're that this is why everyone left. Oh, what an asshole. Ah, oh, some coffee. 
I wonder what happens if I just stay in here forever. Whoop. Stanley sat around <laughs> waiting for more dialogue. But when a long time had passed and there was no more, he decided that the game was trying to send him a message. Actually, that's dialogue, so I'm getting what I requested. Thanks. Okay, maybe now that's all. <sighs> Alright. A few more seconds. Come on, say something. Whatever. Whoa, no, bad door. In my but life. at last, he'd had enough of the amazing room and took the first open door on his left to get back to business. Yep. Alright, actually, no, uh, no, uh, I don't know, I don't know what I want to do. Alright, let's just, let's go ahead. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. <laughs> well, this is big. Whoa, 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 alright, let's go. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps awesome. we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize sure. that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me, I'm asking for her. <gasps> Who is she? This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. Whoa. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. What if you can truly on? place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. Was that the wrong decision? Was it a trap? Okay, oh, Stanley, is that you? Uh, hold <gasps> on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. All right. Okay, there we go. All right, now, I want you to come in and tell me all about your day. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife? Who want to dick. commit their life to you? I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. I'm Aww. trying to get you to see something. Come inside. Let me show you what's really going on here. I thought I was loved. This but, is a very oh. sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. Uh-oh. Um, no. What happens if I don't? You can't tell me what to do. Fine. Do it. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him, and every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. Look at him there, pushing buttons, doing exactly what he's told to do. Now he's pushing a button. Now he's eating lunch. Now he's going home. Now he's coming back to work. <laughs> One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. But this in guy his mind, is so mean. Ah, in his mind, he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown, fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. And so he began to fantasize about his own job. First, he imagined that one day while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. The thought excited him terribly. Okay, so he I'm went not... further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. I pressed As he the wrong button. Through this fantasy Can't even world, do that right. He began to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. Down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. 
and down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions, and down another was a game with a baby, and he called it the Stanley Parable. It was such a wonderful fantasy, and so in his head he relived it again, and then again, and again, over and over, wishing beyond hope that it would never end, that he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. I love you, weird wife. But there is no answer. Aww. How could there possibly be? In reality, no. all he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. Nothing has changed. The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets, the more he forgets which life is the real one. And I'm trying to tell him this, that in this world he can never be anything but an observer, that as long Put as he remains right here, here, he's slowly killing himself. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here, watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. I'm gonna listen to you. Alright, it's a trap. It, it's forcing me to do it, but he says, okay. You see? Can he just not hear me? How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose, the same as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Perhaps, well, maybe this time you'll see. Maybe this time. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried again. It's pretty harsh. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried. What happened? I broke it. I broke the game. <laughs> Shit. This game is weird. <laughs> okay, did it start over? Did it, did it start over? Alright guys, I'm gonna stop here. I don't know what the hell is going on, but um... <laughs> I'm really excited to explore this game and maybe get a few of the different endings. Um, so let me know in the comments if you actually want me to make videos of it in the future. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.